In today's video, we're going to talk about either choosing or creating your own frame environment. When you first log into frame and click create, you have to do two things. You have to name your frame and then you have to choose an environment. And as you can see here, there are more than 40 options to choose from, ranging from small and intimate to very large and complex, depending on the size of your group that you're going to be hosting. Once you choose an environment, you can change that by going down to the plus sign at the bottom or by going to the gear and going to frame settings and choosing environment and performance and choosing the button to pick environment. So as you can see here, there are plenty of environments to choose from. I'm gonna choose the Alpine Lodge to check it out. You can see that there's seating for a small group. So it is set in an Alpine setting with snow and a mountain outside. And if I cruise up to the back of the room here, you'll see that this is a nice setting for a small presentation and a small panel at the front of the room. The smallest environment that Frame offers is this small gallery. There are a couple of wall plates where you can add content directly on the wall already built in. And as you can see, it's pretty small, but it would be a great place to start for maybe a small presentation. When I go down to change environment, as you can see, there are lots to choose from and they range up to very, very large and complex environments such as this one, which would be nice for maybe an online conference because there are many areas for groups to meet. As you can see here, there are many little breakout areas such as this, and then there are public areas for people to congregate and socialize. There is the option to choose an empty environment such as this. What I chose to do here was to import some flat photos of some street signs, and then I laid those down on the base in the environment. So if I show scene two here, you can see that this is just an empty environment. But what I've done is I've laid down streets so that it appears like there is an environment there, and then I am slowly adding 3D models to this environment to give the sense of being able to be in a small village and then practice giving directions, etc. If you would like to build your own custom environment with Frame VR, you can go to tiles.framevr.io and you are presented with this tile maps option. Over on the right, you can see that there are a number of features available and it is as simple as drag and drop those features onto a tile on the map to the left. You can see if you make a mistake, then you can easily slide the pieces using the gizmo. And depending on what your goals are, it'd be very easy to create a custom environment using this tiles map feature. As you can see, the wall came in in the wrong direction. You simply click on the green circle. That allows you to pivot along the axis. And then you can also hit Control X to delete any features that you do not want. So this is a very simple and easy way to create your own custom environment. And then you save this and go back to Frame VR. And when you choose environment and performance, you'll see there is an option to import a custom tile map. So I'd like to show you a couple of other options that I've built in the past. Here is one that uh, allows you to have four corners, small meeting groups in the four corners of the environment. Here's another option where I left the center of the environment empty and then all of the activity will happen on the perimeter. And then this is a fun puzzle that I've been working on where the environment is a series of small islands that are not connected at all. And so that will be a maze uh, and a puzzle that the participants will have to figure out and navigate. Here's some other examples that I've created using the tile map feature. And also if you have the skills and the abilities, you can build very complex environments in third party tools such as Blender. As you can see here, this is one of the in edu metaverse environments that they have available at their website. And here's another great example of a custom environment by the 3D LES group. And this is meant to be an ancient Roman village. And you can see here that there are different buildings and environments that the participants can navigate through, including barracks for the soldiers, etc. So you can get very, very complex if you want to, or you can start with a very simple frame and build your environment using 3D models and other features within the frame ecosystem. In tomorrow's video, we'll build a custom frame environment to support a stations model activity that I've been thinking about doing with a group of students of mine.